right now, 451 our time. We continue to watch the rapidly strengthening Hurricane Laura as it continues to work its way on in through just our northern part of the Gulf of Mexico now. The winds are currently sitting up to 110 miles per hour, almost to Category 3, which starts at 111. Right now, I'll take a live look here. You can see here what we're talking about. Again, the uh, winds are again sitting at uh, 110, gusting to 130. And yes, you can see an eye showing up on the hurricane now. Uh, so that just tells you how intense it is. We're continuing to see this looking kind of what we call that buzz saw look to it and that's exactly what we're expecting out there already starting to see a pretty symmetric hurricane you can see the uh, eye showing up there as well too it's moving northwest at 15 and good news here is 90 degrees west it is now off to the west of that and we'll continue on the northwest track all the way to about landfall which starts to turn to the north there uh continues to work its way northward a little rain you can start to see showing up on the radar as well too here kind of far south of our coast then but eventually some rain bands will be working the way on and closer to us as we go throughout the rest of the day today so almost a category three expected to become now a category four hurricane later this afternoon close to being that at landfall as well too and again looking still as texas louisiana border as a major hurricane likely category four about one o'clock in the morning as we headed to tonight now obviously hurricane warning off to our west we have tropical storm warnings though just south of our area it does not include new orleans but again across part of plaquemines Parish as well as lower jefferson lafouche terrebonne because you will still see some winds there close to this tropical storm force you can see see here with uh, the storm being a category two right now there it becomes a category four about one o'clock this afternoon winds of 130 miles per hour so it continues to rapidly strengthen to that buzzsaw shape it'll look like and it go all the way on into landfall maybe just inland dropping down to a three so it's likely to be probably close to category four uh, at landfall there 130 is the beginning of category four and then of course continuing to track up towards Shreveport Little Rock and heading to the Ohio Valley weakening from a tropical depression to a remnant low but the thing is we talk talked about this earlier, even though it's going to be off to our north, it's going to still continue to bring all that deep tropical moisture fetch over us and some of those feeder bands will go into it as well too until it moves far enough east. So we'll have that onshore flow continuing for a couple of days. You can see here the spaghetti plots there. Yeah, they're in agreement from landfall throughout the rest of the day here. Again, right there, tightly packed across the uh, coastline or the uh, Texas-Louisiana border. And so we don't have to worry about a direct landfall here at all. Plus it's already past the New Orleans area anyway uh, when you look at the lat law. Now comparing this again to uh, uh, Rita. Uh, right now, it's almost a category three. We'll be category four, but this Laura is going to continue to strengthen to landfall, whereas Rita was weakening. Now, Rita was a category five, remember, and weakened. So uh, this one's kind of doing the opposite of what Rita did. So this actually will become potentially stronger than Rita as it makes landfall there across southwest Louisiana there as likely a category three, four hurricane at landfall, whereas Rita was a three of 115. It would be at least 120, maybe a little bit stronger Longer there, So it may weaken just a little bit before it gets to landfall. Uh, we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. What can we expect across southeast Louisiana? Not a lot. One to four inches over the next couple of days inland. Three to six inches of rain along the coastline. Storm surge, you can see two to four lakes. Four to seven now. A little bit higher along the coast because it's a stronger hurricane. Winds are going to be 10 to 20 inland. 25 to 45 along the coast. We do need to watch out for some tornadoes, though, for the day today. They can see tropical or uh, storm surge watches there in the lighter blue color there. Again, two to four foot there, mainly east of the River, including Lake Pontchartrain and Maurepas, west of the river to Morgan City, four to seven feet, and eight to 12 foot of storm surge from Morgan City to Intracoastal City there. And beyond that, 10 to 15 foot storm surge, uh, believe it or not, there across part of western Louisiana. So you can see here again, looking at the latest storm surge, uh, there you see how high it will be. That's the top of the scale and beyond, getting all the way to about I 10 and Lake Charles. So it's definitely going to be quite devastating out there. Heaviest rains will be there uh, near 10 inches near Lake Charles. Again, so we're talking about one to four inches across our area and that tornado threat will exist because when the storm here is to our southwest, we're in that northeastern quadrant that could produce some brief tornadoes in those rain bands if they